What's going on there, folks? Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, actually. It is the Earth Master here on this Thursday, February 24, 2022 date, about 12.36 p.m. Uh, California time, latest quake out there on the globe, shows a 4.4 earthquake around the, uh, see exactly where that's at here. Ooh, in Africa, 4.4 just popping in there on the earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and check out this activity. Kicking up here in the region, uh, there's that 4.4 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo area. Looks like uh, just to the southeast region, it looks like about 10 kilometers or so for the depth of that uh, earthquake. Not a whole lot else happening there in the Africa region. Some movement over here around the Middle East. Looks like a 4.2 much earlier, late last night it looks like, for a 4.2 in the Iran area. Look at the uh, regions around India and China, throughout the Indonesia region, all pretty quiet today. Uh, some movement picking up here around the Solomon Islands and also the Tonga area. Looking at the uh, Papua New Guinea Solomon Islands, just north of the Solomon Sea it looks like. A uh, swarm of fives kicking up here, quite a few upper fours as well. Roughly around 35 kilometer depth for this earthquake. Um, this activity right here, I don't believe we've seen anything significant here over the last week. So this is kind of all new movement kicking up uh, over the last week that we did see some activity. A couple hundred miles or so from the epicenter uh, of today's quakes kind of surrounding that region. And uh, some of that earthquake activity was pretty deep last week. Uh, but today, a new movement, a new area to watch here around the Papua New Guinea area with that swarming of activity kicking up. Uh, around the Tonga area and the Fiji Islands area, pretty deep, 501 deep, 4.4. Uh, to south of Fiji, just to the southwest of Tonga, into the uh, Tonga Trench, it looks like. Way down there into the subduction zone. Uh, a little bit more shallower earthquake here. Looks uh, looks like uh, just a few minutes prior to that deep activity, uh, we've seen some shallow movement here uh, with a 5.0 uh, at 10 kilometers, a little bit further south. Got to remember here, uh, deep earthquake activity putting strain up here along the surface. Of course, when we do have some uh, surface uh, rupture at uh, 10 kilometers or so, or roughly uh, within that level, we, we do see things tend to uh, increase down dip downstream as well. Uh, so kind of a, uh, a uh, an effect going on here within a few minutes of each other. 5.0 shallow earthquake activity. And then uh, some further deep movement just to the north, uh, but into the subduction zone there at 501 kilometers deep, pretty deep activity. Uh, Philippines, what do we got over here? A little bit of movement uh, just off the Philippine Trench. And uh, looks like looks like a little bit of deep earthquake activity here. Off the uh, Philippine Trench region, 4.6, and some really deep activity up here in the uh, northern Mariana Islands area into the Mariana Trench with a 4.7 at uh, 484 kilometers into the uh, subduction zone there. Uh, what do we got here? 4.8 in the Japan Trench region at 42.1 kilometers. This area here, still kind of watching that uh, pretty closely. The Aleutian Trench, pretty quiet throughout the... Uh, the uh, last 24 hours, a little bit of activity through the Cook Inlet area, which is up here, and uh, regional earthquake activity. Just kind of a, looks like a typical earthquake day in the Alaska region there along this plate boundary. Uh, typical movement. Uh, West Coast and the Intermountain West regions all showing uh, quite a bit of activity compared to yesterday and the day before. Uh, seeing a lot of red circles there on the map indicating recent movement here. Let's go ahead and start here with the San Andreas Fault uh, over here south of the Bay Area, uh, just outside of the uh, Salinas area, right up along the Diablo Range here, the major plate boundary known as the San Andreas Fault, of course. A couple upper ones kicking off here within the last hour along this area of the San Andreas. Also down south here, looks like one earthquake within the last hour, uh, San Marcos area, 1.1. And uh, a little bit of activity off the uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone. No swarming really to take note in Southern California at the moment. A uh, little earthquake here south of the Palmdale region on the North American side of the plate boundary. 
Uh, looks like a 0.9 at uh, five kilometers or so below the surface. Look at Ridgecrest. Holy smokes, that is so quiet. Although we have one earthquake here within the last hour, uh, this activity just eerily quiet once again uh, in the Ridgecrest region. A little earthquake up here in the San Joaquin Valley north of Fresno. Uh, 1.9 just as you get up here into the foothills area. There's definitely some fault systems up here not showing up here on the USGS map, obviously. But uh, some earthquake activity up against the foothills. Uh, movement in the Nevada area up around or down around the Las Vegas region as well 1.9 and uh, some activity up north uh, 1.4 pretty shallow movement uh, so generally speaking uh, yes a little bit of activity kicking up here within the last hour uh, but still quiet areas to watch pretty closely Ridgecrest eastern part of the Sierra Nevada all pretty quiet uh, what do we got here 2.4 at 22.6 kilometers this is definitely a subduction zone earthquake here down into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, some movement here around the coastal range here near Lake Pillsbury. Bartlett Springs fault system showing a little bit of activity here. This is well north of the hydrothermal operations which sit way down south here around Cobb Mountain, the geysers area of California. Uh, what else we got? No movement around the volcanoes today in the Northern California region. Uh, one activity. Wasn't I just talking about this? Didn't I say something about, uh, man, I'd hate to see earthquake activity ramp up here at Crater Lake. Said that, uh, when was that? A couple days ago or so. There was some activity. Let me see if I can find that northwest of here. Yeah, it was this one right here. Uh, when I seen that, I was like, well, no, well, it's out, almost outside of the Crater Lake Park. But uh, today we got one. Uh, right smack dab there <clears throat> in the uh, crater area of Crater Lake. 0. 0.6, nothing big, but uh, 2.5 kilometers for that earthquake there. And uh, what do we got here? Rest of the Oregon volcanoes look pretty quiet. We're starting to see swarming uptick once again at Mount St. Helens. Some small microquakes kicking up there around the summit once again. And also some activity west of the Mount Rainier. A little bit larger earthquake, not large, but a little bit larger than the microquakes there. 2.2 near the Puget Sound region of Washington, just east, uh, northeast there of Seattle area at uh, 23 kilometers. Pretty deep movement in that area. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Intermountain West region, some activity stretching from Cedar, uh, Cedar, where's the Cedar? Cedar, Utah over here up against the mountains to the south here, southwest of Richfield. Uh, some twos kicking off today, it looks like. And uh, some activity up around the Salt Lake City area with a 1.4. And uh, once again, some movement up here in the Yellowstone region, north, just outside of uh, Jackson, Wyoming, it looks like. Uh, 2.7 and a 1.8. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview map here of the uh, seismograph stations. And uh, there's that earthquake activity from last night there around the uh, Jackson area. Let's go back here. That's going to be the uh, 2.7. A little bit of swarming activity there kicking up, it looks like. But uh, Yellowstone specifically, localized earthquake activity, not a lot uh, happening here today. There is some movement, once again, over here around the borehole area. I still think this is some type of ice quakes or uh, uh, got to do with the uh, uh, just generally the weather in that environment there due to the uh, snow, ice, whatnot. Uh, sometimes they do pop up like that. So not 100% not certain this is uh, tectonic in nature for as um, uh, general seismic activity as possible. There's a couple larger ones there, but uh, I have to take a little bit closer look at that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. No abnormal odd readings at the moment on Yellowstone. Uh, let's see if we got Canada here real quick. There's the northern end of the Cascadia once again, kind of showing that uh, activity there off the uh, Cascadia, which sits right here. It kind of looks like it's on the uh, Juan de Fuca plate down south here in the Pacific plate to the west. Just a little bit of activity. Most recent quake uh, looks like it's way up here in the, the Yukon region with a 1.1. Uh, Let's see what else we got here, folks. Anything else happening around the country? Uh, some Oklahoma activity in Kansas up here as well. Seen that last night at 2.8 come in there to the uh, northern Kansas region. Puerto Rico, 
still swarming and uh, what do we got here? Not a whole lot in the South America region. It's just one little earthquake here in the Peru Chile Trench 4.2 and uh, some activity off the coast of the Panama region. Ecuador sits down here to the southeast and uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on in the central part of the uh, Middle America Plate. Uh, South Sandwich Trench did see a 5.4 come in at uh, 10 kilometers or so. This one's pretty, uh, well, it's way over there to the west, well beyond the subduction zone. So uh, just kind of a little eerie deal going on here. 5.4, 10 kilometers. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it, folks. We're going to jump off here and uh, we'll definitely uh, watch the activity ramping up here along the west coast within the last hour. See uh, if this kind of picks up or not. Whole lot going on out there in the uh, world news stage, that's for sure. But nothing, uh, definitely nothing I want to discuss here on this channel. So we're going to keep that uh, off of here. Kind of focus on earthquake activity and whatnot, uh, which we always do here 24 7. That is for sure. Wanted to see if we got anything kicking up here with these two sunspots. Uh, still just very minimal. We got two sunspots facing the Earth side here. But uh, just two eyeballs kind of watching this 2955, 2954. Uh, rotating into view here of the Earth. And uh, just um, or the Earth side I should say. Uh, but really no specific uh, possibilities there of any type of uh, major flare threat. It just looks like uh, maybe a 15% chance of a sea flare. That's about it. All right, folks, we're going to jump off here. Enjoy the day. Try to stay sane out there. Definitely try to stay safe. And we will be back a little bit later on this evening with an update video. Peace out, folks.